Hey everybody, Jeff here, Aromatics, back again with a quick pipe tobacco review. Today I will be reviewing Cornell & Deal's Montford Point Marines. Now this is a tobacco that is supposed to celebrate, well let me read the description real quick for you. It says, signed in 1941, Executive Order 8802 ended racial discrimination in the armed forces with Montford Point becoming the first depot for black marine recruits. Training over 20,000 new marines by 1949, our tribute is comprised of dark-fired burly Perique Latakia, Semper Fi. I don't know, I thought, is there like a superstition you're not allowed to say Semper Fi unless you're marine or something? Uh, for those of you who know, let me know. So, okay, well, as most of us know, when they're blending a tobacco, they usually take a base tobacco, like Virginia and Burley, and then they'll add condiment tobaccos to that blend to just bring out the flavors. Just like you'd add, you know, cinnamon or salt to a steak or whatever, right? But um, you've always heard, you know, don't add too much dark fired Kentucky because it could overtake the blend. Uh, dark fired Kentucky being a condiment blend. Or don't add too much Perique, it's really spicy and fruity. Or don't add too much Latakia. You know, Latakia is just really strong in and of itself, very creosote, very smoky. Well, what happens if you take three condiment blends with no base blends and add them together? You either get a recipe for disaster or maybe something really interesting. Well, let me uh, get on with this review and we'll see which one of those it is. So like I said, it's a base of Latakia and dark fired Kentucky and Perique. It doesn't say that there's anything else added to that. So let's give it a sniff. Now, I don't know if you can see in there, but um, the chunks are fairly big. This is one of the more chunky blends, like Billy Bud, say, from, from Cornell and Deal. And the smell in the tin is woo-wee. We got campfire, smoky, savory, um, maybe a little bit barbecue-y. Very potent, very strong. Similar, kind of reminds me a little bit of, say, Billy Bud. So there'll be some more comparisons to Billy Bud as we go on. For those of you who don't know what Billy Bud is, I will describe that in a second. So, okay, I have got my good old um, freehand cob packed up. This is the, the um, how do you say it, the coated version, not, not the naked version. So let me light up. Let's see what we're getting. Now for me, um, when I first started smoking Latakia, it could be pretty much any blend with Latakia and I would enjoy it. But it got to the point where I kind of got just maybe a little bit bored of Latakia English type blends. So it had to be something special for me to like it or something, I'm kind of gimmicky when it comes to tobaccos. I like a gimmick tobaccos. So something with some cigar leaf in it would catch my attention or something with a, a lot of one you know, condiment tobacco like Perique, et cetera. And that's what kind of caught my attention with this is, ooh, Latakia with just dark fired and Perique, that sounds pretty interesting, so. So right from the start, this is probably one of the most flavorful, strongest tobaccos that I've ever smoked. And strong as in flavor, not as in nicotine, because the nicotine is actually fairly mild. I don't, I've never really gotten any nicotine hit off of this blend. Tons of smoke. So the first thing you notice is it's definitely, the Latakia is there, it's got that creosote smoky taste. Like the charcoal out of a, out of a fireplace. But then it's got a, a sweet, smoky, hickory, barbecue-y, not a tangy barbecue, but sort of a, just a barbecue, a sweeter, savory, gritty component. Now the first bowl I ever smoked of this, it had a big chunk of dark fired Kentucky leaf and instead of ripping it up, I basically just left it in there. And man, when it started burning that, it was so good. It was really rich, really savory, just like a, a gravy, you know, a really nice spicy, not spicy, but a savory type of gravy with like hickory smoke. Now the Perique at first doesn't, you don't really taste it. There's not a lot of spice or plum, anything like that. But either you'll hit a patch of it or as it goes down, 
the perique starts to pick up. And that's when this thing really starts to sing, is when that perique hits. So now you're getting a nice kind of a spicy, tangy flavor added along with that hickory, smoky barbecue, and then on that, that creosote kind of charcoaly taste. All together, it's just a really rich, and it's not too dark as in, as in sometimes if there's a lot, a lot of kia, it can just be too much of a charcoal taste. This has got a sweetness to it. Sweet as in, not a sugary sweet, just a barbecuey, hickory sweetness, a natural smoky flavor that just keeps us from being overwhelming. Too much talking and not enough smoking. One thing I, I did notice is, I'm not getting it right now, probably because I'm drinking a coffee with this, is sometimes it's just so full flavored that you'll almost get like a, a like your tongue goes numb. It's just, it, it can get that strong, especially when the preak and dark fired start to overtake the blend. Because it's so chunky, you'll get hit, big hits of certain things, which keeps it interesting as well. Zero tongue bite, very mild on the, uh, as far as like, besides your tongue going numb sometimes not an all-day smoke but definitely if you've had Billy Bud before which is a heavy Latakia burly and cigar leaf blend this reminds me of that it's got that heaviness it's got that fullness but whereas that's more of an earthy metallic taste this is a, a more full gritty it's got more of that sweet barbecue hickory thing going on and as well as that uh, spiciness that the perique adds to it not a pepper spice just a overall spice so for someone who likes those real heavy, thick, strong blends that just overtake everything, but yet are still, you know, very palatable, this would be for you. If you don't like Latakia blends and you like stuff on the mild side, then this is probably too much for you. But other than that, um, this is really good. It's replaced a blend that I liked called Ryogen from Daughters and Ryan that they only made a small batch of it and then I couldn't get it anymore. This is kind of reminds me of that as well. Just. And this, and I was disappointed when they got rid of that because that was sort of my, when I was in the mood for a heavy Latakia blend, that sort of cigari, that was the one I went to. But now this replaces that and it's always available. So I'm pretty happy. So that'll be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my review and I'll see you on my next one. Till then, Aromatics, signing out.